Hello, and welcome to Headwise, the video cast and podcast of the National Headache Foundation. I'm Dr. Lindsay Weitzel. I'm the founder of Migraine Nation, and I have a history of chronic and daily migraine that began at the age of four. I'm excited to be here today with one of our favorite guests. This is headache medicine specialist, Dr. Fred Cohen. Hello, Dr. Cohen. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me again. <laughs> thanks for being here. Dr. Cohen is an assistant professor at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, and he is the founder and director of Headache Intervention, a private practice headache clinic located in New York City. We are always happy to have him. And he does a great job answering all our questions. And we are going to try and ask some really complicated questions about TMD today. Our topic is temporomandibular disorder and how it relates to migraine and head pain. So Dr. Cohen, let's begin by explaining what TMD refers to, because we used to hear people often refer to it as TMJ, but TMJ actually refers to the joint itself, correct? Okay. So... When we say TMD, TMJ, first let's start with the TM portion of this acronym, temporal mandibular. So the temporal mandibular joint is right here. It's a swivel joint that, you know, allows us to move our jaw up and down, chew, et cetera. It's a very small joint, but it's very complicated for its size. There's a lot of things going on in there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, the terms TMJ pain and TMD pain, they sort of are interchangeable but the more proper term I would say is you have a temporal mandibular dysfunction or disorder, which again, there's a lot of variations. People could have TMD pain from bruxism, which is grinding your teeth. There could be an issue with your bite. There could be your, your masseter muscles, which are here are, you know, overpowering. There could be a structural issue, a nerve issue, et cetera. So it's a very, it's a, it's an umbrella term covering a lot of different etiologies. So I do think this is a great educational moment because we are often told all the time now that migraine is a neurological disorder, which makes us picture that something is going on in our brain or central nervous system that's beginning the process. But then TMD is sort of a structural issue. Can you please explain to us how this structural problem can lead to worse migraine for us? Sure. So let's start with a foundation migraine. Migraine is a condition in a nutshell of neuroinflammation. Migraine is a lot more complicated than that, of course, and we don't fully understand the picture of it. You figure that out, you win the Nobel Prize in medicine. We do know neuroinflammation is the root of it. What could cause that? A lot of things can cause it. And one could, of course, be structural issues or pain coming from your jaw, because this is the front of our face. Is the sensation comes from the trigeminal pathway, which is part of what we feel of migraine. So an issue in this area could be sending signals and then triggering a migraine attack. So how might someone in the audience know if their jaw is contributing to their migraine disorder? What are some of the signs? So it's always first interesting, chicken or the egg, like what came first, me having TMD pain or me having migraine? Mm -hmm. And that, you know, can only be distinguished between you and your provider. But typically TMD pain is out is you know pain that you're having in area of your jaw. It could be with chewing, it could be with talking, it could be with, you know even with swallowing. Some patients notice it when they're yawning because it could be a lot of different causes of it. There could be a wide variety of it. But keep it sort of simple and neat. Any you know pain that you're feeling in your jaw area, and if you notice that was this happening before I had migraine or my migraine is worse from it, sort of hints that if there's a kind of relationship. On. Okay. Now, if someone is suspecting this is a problem for them, what type of healthcare practitioner do you recommend they go to? So this is also could be a bit confusing for this area is shared by a lot of kind of providers. Mm -hmm. You know, I, headache medicine specialist and myself, I have experience doing dealing with TMD issues. There's, of course, dentists, there's or maxillofacial surgeons. So when you want to start this out, first and foremost, your primary care doctor is always your center pin in your health care. So, you know, you can always bring out the dumb to get a proper referral. Your dentist is definitely an appropriate person to bring up. Now, dentists do train on this. There are some dentists that identify themselves more of a TMD specialist. Also, it could be evaluated by an, an orthodontist. Or maxillofacial facial surgeons or sort of what I say, the uh, more advanced tier, because generally they're more equipped with surgery. Surgery is you know, I would say more grave option. I have seen some individuals get surgical treatment, usually when there's a structural issue with their jaw in the TMD area, but that's typically reserved for cases that are refractory for other treatments. Are there also medications people use to prevent this type of jaw pain? 
So there's a whole variety of treatments. The most common before medication is actually mouth guards, which is something people probably heard of a lot. They were kind of what we call oral splints, oral applications that either a dentist or orthodontist can provide. You know, things like Invisalign, braces, night guards, et cetera. Because what they're doing is they could be adjusting your bite. They could be preventing bruxes and the grinding because when you grind your teeth, it, it overpowers your masseter muscles and that could lead mm -hmm. to TMD pain. So there's a variety of different applications. Medications, similar neuropainkiller medications that are used in migraine can be applied. And also, believe it or not, Botox or onobotulinum toxin A is a common treatment as well. That's something that I do a lot for my patients. Okay. Now, if people are able to improve their pain in their jaw or improve their TMD, does their migraine often improve too? Uh, it can. You know, I will never back up a claim that I'm unable to because there's only one way to find it is to treat the TMD pain because, you know, we there's no test for you. They're like, oh, yeah, your migraine is definitely being affected by, by you know, your uh, TMJ. Uh, but it is common that, yes, treating the area will improve the migraine because, again, this is a source of inflammation. And again, if it, I mean, you still want to treat this, of course, because it's not fun having jaw pain. But different patients will, you know, react and have a different sort of response to their migraine. Okay. And a real quick question about surgeries. It seems to me that people used to often refer someone with jaw pain to surgery, and it doesn't seem to happen as often anymore. Is, is that true, or is that just something that, that I happen to see? I would agree with that. I don't see surgery often. It's, you know, when it comes to facial pain, and I'm looping in TMD, trigeminal neuralgia, conditions like that, surgery is typically not a first option. I've only seen it in individuals who have failed multiple different kinds of treatment that, you know, I almost want to call it last resort because that is a, you know, surgery. It's a very serious treatment option. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this topic before we go today? Yeah, just that this condition, like I said, because it shares a common territory between multiple kinds of providers who typically have multiple providers collaborating together. In my practice, I have a lot of patients I share with dentists and orthodontists where patients are getting from the dental provider some kind of oral splint, they're getting you know yearly jaw x-rays and treatments for them, and then they're coming to me for on about A or Botox, because what the Botox does is, so Botox, I'll show with little Fred over here, I'm going to start doing vent uh, ventriloquism stuff, is that we do on about injections along the masseter muscle as well a bit in the temporalis. And what that does is it typically in these TMD disorders, your masseter muscle, which again is running here, is overpowered. It's just overacting. It tones it down. And that allows the ore application to sort of be more effective and also reduce your pain. The goal long term is not to always have these injections, but to allow the oral applications your dental provider is, is giving you to be more effective. Mm -hmm. Every time patients follow me, I always give an examination of the masters because if it's getting, we want to see if it's getting too small, too small. Now you're going to have difficulty chewing, which of course we will cause a new problem. Okay. Well, thank you so much for telling us the answers to all these questions that we have. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Please join us for the next episode of Headwise. Bye-bye.